So in this video, we will learn how to receive notifications on WhatsApp for WooCommerce order. Now suppose guys, you are a WooCommerce store owner and you want that whenever you receive a new order, you want to get notified on WhatsApp. So you can get this notification automatically. And to set up this automation, the trigger will be receiving new order in WooCommerce. And the action will be receiving WhatsApp message as the order details on your number. Now guys, how you can set up this automation yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we'll go to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabli Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here, just click on access now below Pabli Connect. And now we can see that we have reached to Public Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as WooCommerce to WhatsApp and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new orders which we are receiving on our WooCommerce store in Public Connect. After that, using Public Connect, we will send the WhatsApp message on our number with the order details and the details of the customer. So let's begin guys. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we will search for WooCommerce. WooCommerce it is, just select it. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we have to select new order created. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between WooCommerce and Public Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and go to your WooCommerce store. So this is my WordPress account where I have installed my WooCommerce plugin. And here after hovering on this WooCommerce, WooCommerce option on the left side, we can see settings option over here. Just click on settings. After clicking on settings here in the settings space, just click on this advanced option over here. And after that, here we can see an option named as webhook. Click on webhooks. Now we can see that we have reached to this webhooks page of Pavli. Here just click on add webhook. And after that, here it is asking us for some details of the new webhook which we want to add. So first thing it asks us is the name. So I would like to name this webhook as, for example, Pavli. Then it is asking us for the status. So from the drop down, we will select the status as active. Then it is asking us for the topic. So here in topic from the drop down, we have to select order created. So if you have any doubt regarding the topic, you can refer to the help text given below over here. After the topic guys, the next thing it asks us is the delivery URL. So here in delivery URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. So just paste this webhook URL over here. Then let's ignore the secret and API version and click on save webhook. And that is it guys, we have successfully added this webhook URL in our WooCommerce store. Now every time we will receive a new order in our WooCommerce store, the details of that order will be captured inside Public Connect workflow over here. Now what we are going to do, we are going to place a test order, a dummy order on our WooCommerce store. First just click on this recapture webhook button over here and it will change to waiting for webhook response. After this just open your WooCommerce store, let me visit my store. This is my store and here we are, what we are going to do, we are going to place a dummy order. For example, I'll buy this white t-shirt. Just click on this. Scroll down and proceed to checkout. So here let's enter the details of a dummy customer. So this is the name of the customer dummy test. This is the name. This is the dummy address of the customer. This is the dummy mobile number and the dummy email address. So with these details of a dummy customer, we are going to place a test order. Just click on this place order button over here. And yes, the order is placed. Now we can see that just now we have received an order on our WooCommerce store. 
And because we have connected our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect, we can see that the details of this order will also be get captured and set Pavli Connect workflow over here as well. So just wait for a few seconds over here. And yes guys, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we can see the details of the order which we have placed just now few seconds ago. So we will scroll down and we will find the details of the order. So we have the total value of the order which we have received on our WooCommerce store. We have the name of the customer who placed the order. We also have the address of the customer which a customer has entered. We have the email address, phone number. Also, when we will scroll down, we will find the payment details and also the pro details of the product which customer has ordered. So let me scroll down first. So here we have the details of the product. So this is the name of the product which the customer has ordered and this is the quantity. So this means guys, we have successfully received the details of the new order which we have received on our WooCommerce store in Pavli Connect. Now the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Let's move to step two. So in step two guys, we want to receive a WhatsApp message, a WhatsApp notification whenever we receive an order. Now for that, we will scroll down and come to this action window in our workflow. And to receive the WhatsApp message on our number, we will use our application name that WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API it is, just select it. And after that, in action event from the dropdown, select send template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we will be using WhatsApp Cloud API, Meta's official WhatsApp API service. And guys, because I have already created my Cloud API account, I have these details like the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID to make this connection. But guys, if you haven't created your Cloud API account yet, we have a separate dedicated video on that too, on how you can set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. By referring to it, you can know or you can set up your own WhatsApp Cloud API account and use it. And after creating your account, you will reach to this app dashboard page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And at this page, you will find everything that is required to make the connection. The temporary access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID of your Cloud API account. So just copy this phone number ID from here, go to Public Connect and paste it over here in this connection window. Then from this page, from this app dashboard, just copy the WhatsApp business account ID and paste it over here as well. Then it is asking us for the token. The help text below token says, enter system user generated permanent token as explained here. So guys, the token which we get on this app dashboard page is a temporary access token, which means this token will expire every 24 hours. But guys, they don't worry, there is a way by which you can generate a permanent access token, which will never expire. So here in the help text below, you have a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you will find all the details regarding WhatsApp Cloud API, how you can set up your account, how you can generate permanent access token and other details as well. So you can refer to this page and generate your permanent access token. And after that, just enter that token over here and click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection, so I will just select my existing connection and click on save. Now after making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the template name. Now here you must be thinking what are these templates. So templates are basically some predefined WhatsApp messages which we are going to use to receive notifications or order details on WhatsApp. Now guys to send or receive messages using WhatsApp Cloud API, first we have to create a template of the message and then we have to get that template approved from Facebook or should I say Meta. And after the approval, you can use that template to send or receive WhatsApp messages on your number. Now guys, in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the templates which I have already created in my Cloud API account and got it approved. And if you want to create your own template, just go to this app dashboard page, scroll down and come to this step too. And at last over here, you will find a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to the message template page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And at this page, you will find all the details regarding your templates. You can see the list of all the templates which you have created. And also by clicking on this create message template button, you can basically create a message template of your choice. And if you don't know how to create a template, we have a separate dedicated video on that too. 
and you will find the link of that video in the description box below. By referring to it, you can know you will know that how you can create a WhatsApp message template in WhatsApp Cloud API and what are the features it offers. So guys, the template which we are going to use in this video is named as order received. Let me search for it, order received. So this is the message. So guys, I want to receive a WhatsApp message like this with the details of the order which I am receiving on my WooCommerce store. So this message says new order received. Congratulations, you have received a new order of and here we will have the name of the product. So in place of book, we will hide the name of the product. Then here we will have the quantity. Then we will have the details of the customer like their name, email address, mobile number and address. So guys, like the pro name of the product, the quantity, the details of the customer will be keep on changing for every new order, every new message. Now guys, this means this data, this text will be dynamic. And to add these kind of dynamic text in our WhatsApp message template, we use these kind of numbers in double curly braces. It is basically a variable, a body field, a dynamic text. So we will enter these numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in double curly braces to add dynamic text in our WhatsApp template message. Now guys, order underscore received. We will be selecting this template in Pavli Connect over here. Order underscore received. Just select it. And after selecting our template message, the next thing it asks us is the language code and template ID. And both of these things are automatically detected. We don't have to make any changes over here. Then it is asking us for the recipient mobile number. So here in recipient mobile number section, we have to basically enter our WhatsApp number on which we want to receive the WhatsApp message with the order details. And the help text below it says, enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign. So we have to enter our WhatsApp number with country code, but without the plus sign. So let me enter my WhatsApp number. That is it. And after entering recipient mobile number, we will move to body field one, body field two, field three, field four, field five, and field six. So in our WhatsApp template message, we can see that we have created few body fields. Like body field one, in place of body field one, we wanted to add the name of the product which customer has ordered. In place of body field two, we wanted to add the quantity. In place of three, the name, email, mobile number, and address respectively in three, four, five, and six. So now guys here in public connect workflow, we will have to basically add the data which we want to add in place of this body field. So in place of body field one, we wanted to add the name of the product and we have received the name of the product in response from WooCommerce. So what we have to do, we have to basically map this data, map this response for the name of the product over here in place of this body field one. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from WooCommerce of new order can be seen over here. Just scroll down and select the response of the name of the product. Just scroll down over here and here we have the name of the product. Just select it and it is mapped. Then it is asking us for the body field 2. In place of body field 2, we wanted to add the quantity of the order. So we have also received the quantity from WooCommerce. So we will use the same process of mapping over here. So let me search for quantity. This is the item quantity. Just select it and map it. In place of body field 3, we wanted to add the name of the customer. So I'll just search for name and this is the name. So we have the first name and last name as separate response. So I'll just select and map the first name, add a space to it and then let me add the last name. This is the last name. Then in place of body field 4, we will enter the email address of the customer. Let's search for email address. This is the email, map it. In place of body field 5, let's search for the mobile number or the phone number of the customer. We don't have the response via mobile. Okay, this is the phone number of the customer. Just map it. And in place of body field 6, we have to basically add the address. So we have received the address in various responses. So we will map all of this data one by one. So map the billing address one first, add a comma, then just from the drop down, map the billing address two, then just scroll down, then we will select the city. So where we have response for the city, this is the city, then the state, the response for the state, and the zip code. So after hyphen, just a second, after hyphen over here, let's map the zip code. This is it. This is the postcode and that's it. So after mapping all of these details required in our template message, just click on save and send test request button. 
After clicking on Save and Send Test Request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the WhatsApp message with all of these details of new order which we have received from WooCommerce Store are, is now sent on this number. So let's check the WhatsApp account of this number. Let's go to WhatsApp. This is it. And yes, guys, here we can see that. And yes, guys, here we can see that we have received a WhatsApp message on our number. This message says new order received. Congratu congratulations, you have received a new order of Dashing Bite Solid Men's Round Night T-shirt for summer. So this is the name of the product which the customer has ordered. This is the quantity and this is the details of the customer who actually placed the order. This means guys, the automation which we are willing to set up in this video is working perfectly fine. Now every time we will receive a new order in our WooCommerce store, the details of that order will be automatically received on our mobile number as a WhatsApp message as a notification. So now guys, after setting the, up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. So what we are going to do, we are going to get back to a WooCommerce store. Just let's get back to store. And here we are going to place another order. For example, I have this uh, product Iron Press. Let's purchase this. Click on Add to Cart. Then let's just proceed to checkout. And here let's change the details of the customer. For example, demo name. This is the name of the customer. Let's change the address as well. Okay, let's change the city to Delhi. Delhi. Just select Delhi in state as well. And let's also change the mobile number of the customer. Email address also. Okay, so with the details of a new dummy customer, we are going to place this order. Just click on place order. So guys, we can see that a new order has been received on our WooCommerce store. Now after this, we will go to our WhatsApp account and see whether we receive a WhatsApp message over there or not. So let's switch to our WhatsApp account. Let's wait for a few seconds. And yes guys, we can see that just now after placing the order, we have received the WhatsApp message on a number regarding the order. This message says, congratulations, you have received a new order of Iron Press. We have the same name of the product which we have just now ordered while testing this automation. We have the same quantity and also thus the same details of the customer whose details we have entered while making the order or while placing the order. So guys, we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now guys, not just these application, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Pabli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.